now having notes among my uh, King James false bullshit Bible with me. Um, of course, there is a lot of information going around on YouTube. <sighs> a lot of people are so-called having dreams of Jesus. Um, visions, like I, like a minor, you know, I, I'm able to describe what Jesus looks like. Now the issues with people or so-called Christians dreaming about Jesus is that Jesus is not showing them him, is not, he's not showing himself as an angel of Lucifer as he showed me, as he clearly depicted to me over five times now, even when I pray in the name of the Holy Spirit and Jesus Christ and in the name of the Lamb and the blood, and they all appear to me. And they come to me and they tell me, you know, Jesus standing with the Lamb. That he is Lucifer and that he has a name on his on his arm. And, and there's so many people fighting and arguing over the subject. I decided to find some scripture um, amongst... <coughs> I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos about a lot of information and facts. Also, um, facts I can't really say. I'm just going to say man-made false doctrine or man-made doctrine that could be possibly facts because I can't... Okay, now, well, now I have to try to be quiet and whisper. My mom just woke up. Talk about the beast, the dragon. <sighs> Anyways, um... So, I decided to... There was a lot of false preaching, a lot of false doctrine in the church. When I say the church, Christian churches, churches, religion in general, um, has so much mixed and false information that it's getting to be insane and people are having all sorts of different beliefs. And which isn't really, you know, I guess it could be seen as bad or good, but, um... For those false idiot Christians and Jews who believe that um, that if you believe that Lucifer fell from heaven, um, that's not what the Bible says. In fact, it says that the prince of Tyre fell from heaven. And I'm going to go ahead and read that. Okay, so in the King James Bible in chapter 27... Of Ezekiel, Ezekiel chapter 27, verses 1, and I'm going to read chapter 27 and all of chapter 28, and this will explain who the Prince of Tyre is that everybody calls Lucifer. Uh, they get him confused, they get him mixed up, people don't understand that the Messiah is Jesus, so that there's a Messiah named Yehoshua. The whole world is deceived and duped and tricked into believing a bunch of bullshit around the planets, that the planets are really being worshipped, and I'll be getting into that as well, because the sun in our sky is the lake of fire, and it's revolved and deeply rooted in Christianity, Judaism, Islam, um, paganism, and every religion in the world is deeply rooted with the star symbol, that is the pentagram, which is the star of David as well which are two different stars, but it's the same or very similar meaning. Um, Jews falsified and cursed the holy um, pentagram. Christians cursed the holy um, the holy star and turned it into something evil and wicked that it never really was. And um, Jesus himself said that he's the bright and morning star, that he's the sun of the dawn, the day star. All that goes into the dictionary, it goes into the Wikipedia, and now to um and now for the proof of that and um about the who the prince of Tyre is and how people confuse him with Lucifer if you go to Ezekiel chapter 27 I'm going to be reading from the King James version bible verses 1 The word of the Lord came to came again to me saying so now when someone is saying the word of the Lord came again to me that could mean anything when someone says the word of the Lord, it could absolutely mean anything. It could be through a book, could be through an angel, could be through telepathic abilities like I have. I've, I have a telepathic ability to communicate with the divine, amongst um, other things that um, I 
rather would not reveal myself because I don't want to be attacked or disbelieved. And keeping myself humbled is not yet to reveal myself and uh, part of who I am. What is sacred and divine and we are holy beings. We're not just humans. And that serpent was the savior. He came to the tree to save us. And that, that holy serpent, the serpent of life, the serpent from the tree of wisdom and knowledge. It says nowhere in the Bible that he was ever Satan or Lucifer. It does not say that in the Bible. In fact, going back to Native American tradition, the serpent is the holy creator of the earth. Though, and um, Satan is actually the creator. Uh, okay, let me just say from the song I've heard. Um, this song that I've heard of, and I'm looking for more information into it, it's, um, ca call, it's from the band Behemoth. Blow your trumpets, Gabriel, O Father, O Satan, O Son. And it goes into, you know, a worship song for Satan, but it says that he is God, that he is the creator of the firmaments, the air, the wind, the fire, the sea, the ocean, um, the... Terrible things that happen on earth, droughts, plagues, weathers, famines, all those evil, horrible things that kills off humans or whatever, um, contributes to the ancient gods way before Jesus and Yehoshua ever appeared in the picture. And it was supposed to be the background of Yehoshua, um, this, false, this false doctrine of man or, or people um, that are teaching. It might be a deceivement, it might be the truth that um, Horus was Jesus Christ and Osiris and that they're all the same being and that the Mother Mary is really um, Isis and Israel, if you split up Is, Ra, El, Is is Isis, Ra stands for the Egyptian god Amun Ra and El stands for the term El Elyon, God the Most High. Everybody confuses this shit for the same God in the Bible. Every single person, every dumb fucking nut-witted, dumbass fucking Christian and stupid fucking Jew all make this shit the same and change the Bibles and change the words around. And it's like, it, it's like there's so much war and so much evil and deception going on with murdering um, innocent humans under this God, this Jewish God of, of tyrancy and evil. And all of a sudden now, you know, maybe his son is here, maybe he's not, maybe it's a deception. In the Bible it says, do not be deceived for many have, are going to come in my name saying, I am he, but do not come, do not seek therefore. Um, there are many antichrists and false prophets in the world, blah, 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 blah. I don't know, you know, what that would, <sighs> I don't exactly know why that would be a bad thing. But, I mean, people see it as an evil thing. People see that as a wicked thing. A prophet is a prophet. I think anyone can be a prophet. And I don't think any any prophet's necessarily evil or wicked. But I think it's, it depends on the heart and the intention, the soul purpose, the divine purpose of the human soul, the human being that comes into existence, into reality. Okay, uh, what have you learned as a human being? Okay, you have to know, you have to have wisdom and knowledge and intelligence and, and do the right thing. Um, so when, when it comes to prophets, it's no one is really a false prophet. Nobody is really a true prophet. It's always mixed because God does not usually come in contact with humans when it comes to directly communicating to them or talking to them, um, you know, directly face to face. That hardly ever happens. It's like incredibly rare. But I will say... Um, the best way to um, talk to God, you know, I guess I'll just get into the, the Bible in a few minutes. The best way, I think, to really communicate to gods, I should say in plural, general, or into your own divine uh, self, your divine being within, because we are gods in the flesh, and I don't know what dumb fuck th told you that you're not. But there's a lot of false Christian bullshit, Jewish bullshit, Islamic bullshit. It's all to control the human population. They're killing people. People are killing each other over religion. And um, the only way that I see is a true way to go is by the Spirit. And when I say the Spirit, I'm not talking about necessarily the Holy Spirit. I'm just, I don't exactly know what it is. It's a feeling. It might be the Holy Spirit. I don't know, but it... It's this feeling of the spirit of life within me that kind of 
is showing me what is actually good and holy is actually the exact opposite of the Bible. The Bible's full of shit. I'm sorry to say that all the sins in the New Testament are actually holy. Um, I'm being shown that all those that witchcraft is actually a holy, divine, very powerful uh, way of um, using your own divine power as a soul, as a spirit, as um, a god or goddess. We came into this flesh, you know, because of um, certain higher powers that I'm still learning about. And um, it, basically, I'm watching videos also that this earth is like a matrix system we're in this matrix system which they call the beast system or CERN it's a portal to hell and basically what's happening is ever since they opened that fucking CERN thing there's been probably new information floating around all of a sudden Jesus is somebody else God is somebody else um, demons are not what you think angels are not what you think not all angels are good not all fallen angels are bad a lot of fallen angels are very holy and, and serviceable to humanity have good intentions and their only reason why they're fallen from heaven is because of the tyrant the asshole fucked up god that they serve and when i say tyrant god i'm talking about the bible god your bullshit jewish uh jehovah or i'm not sure if that's his name because at the same time there are so many different names and because I don't know the exact history of all the names I can't say if it's exactly Jehovah that I'm so upset with or if it's um, Allah. Allah is definitely the enemy. It seems like Allah really is the beast. Um, when, as I looked into the numer numericals and the number of the beast, 666 is the name of Allah in um, Greek numericals I think it was or it was from... Um, something like that, Greek numbers, um, numericals, numerology. Um, the Bible says don't get into numerology, but you. <laughs> but let me tell you, um, numbers have been popping up in my face constantly from the spiritual world. Constant four 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 three 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 two 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 one 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 two twenty two twelve 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 twenty one um, two twenty one three twenty one, and all of these constant numbers with a divine and, and, and powerful meaning that it kind of is pushing me and forcing me to get into knowing and looking up what these numbers mean. And it feels like a divine holy calling, this numerology thing. Um, it's definitely nothing evil with it. And let me tell you, when the Bible talks about psychic mediums and they say that's evil, no, and, and you're not going to burn in hell for being a psychic medium. Whoever, you know, what, what, what bullshit God is going to burn um, a human being in hell because they're a psychic. I've been a psychic since I was 14. I've been having consistent visions of um, the end of the world, certain things on um, the news, um, people committing suicide, people um, falling off uh, towers. Um, I've seen I've seen some some visions about you know um, Sunday um, Christian church is the mark of the beast. Um, Jesus is not at all who people think he is. He's, I don't even, it's, I can't just say it in one word, but Jesus is not who you think he is. Yehoshua is not who you think he is. They're not the same. I, I'm so sick and tired of seeing people think that Jesus Christ and Yehoshua are the same. And I'm so sick and tired of seeing Christians having dream after dream after dream about Jesus and how wonderful he is when he's not even showing his name, Lucifer, upon his arm to them. Why am I the only one seeing this? Why is he the only one showing me this consistently? I know part of the reason which I will not reveal because it's incredibly sacred and people will take it out of context and misuse my words and turn it against me including false gods, may use that against me. But there is a divinity, there is a holy power of life that is within our souls, but it takes a lot of learning and, and troubles and um, hardships and trials and tribulations. You have to go through it in the right process. And the, the Bible, in the, when it comes to the New Testament, really does help with um, becoming a good person. But uh, we should know morally, you know, going through life, the difference between good and good and wrong, right and wrong. Now, there's really no such thing as evil. The only thing that there really is evil is really human sacrifice, um, animal sacrifice. Now, that may not even be considered evil because when that happens, it's feeding the earth. 
the blood um, from the human goes back into the earth, feeds the earth, grows plants. The decomposing human and animal feeds the earth, and the earth desperately needs to be fed. The earth needs help, and humans are not helping this earth. Okay, um, now, when I talk about Jesus being Lucifer, there is so much fucking facts on that that it's gone out to being retarded how much facts and proof there is all over the place. You just have to know where to look. You have to understand what you're reading. You have to get a bunch of books. You can't just read the fucking Bible and expect to be some, um, you know, you're a dumb fuck if you just believe in the Bible. I'm sorry, you're a stupid dumb fuck if you only believe strictly in the Bible with hundreds of books missing. They say 66, way more than that. You don't even have the book of Eden finished, um, the book of Genesis. We have a piece of shit for a Bible. We have, uh, you know, these churches in every down the street is, I mean, you have people, you know, they're genuine, they're of love, and, but even the genuine people are so ignorant and naive and just dumb. I mean, they literally is strictly only not even going by the Bible. It's like they say they do. Every Christian is such a fucking hypocrite. Every religious person. They say they follow by the Bible, but they don't follow worth a shit. If they were following by the Bible, they'd be killing everybody, and everybody would be dead, and like they were doing back in the 1700s, killing innocent witches who did nothing at all wrong except doing their own... You want to know what witchcraft is? It's the working of natural resources like the air wind fire earth water that we have that we're given that's sacred that is divine the 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 beautiful earth that we have the beautiful plants that god gives us that you use those plants for healing that's considered witchcraft you take a plant you t you um turn it into tea i make tea every day that's considered wicca or witchcraft and it's the most divine and holy source of all of all um, life when it comes to the earth and the things that we need, the water and all these things. And there's so many um, corrupted minds, so many corrupted humans that are, that are misled into false bullshit. I don't know where they get their shit from that say that witchcraft is evil, that witches are evil. They say that, um, you know, that Jesus hates Satan and that they're divided and all this idiotic bullshit when they don't even understand like there's so much information that goes into god being satan it's fucking ridiculous you guys are so fucking lost i'm sorry i don't even care i'm not even sorry you guys are fucking lost this um you know if y'all believe in that bullshit that you're gonna burn in hell for having sex before marriage that you're gonna burn in hell for Doing these things, I mean, you want to know what the hell, what hell really is, is the sun in our sky, and that is going to be going into God, Lucifer, Satan, Jesus, every God into existence revolves around the planet of the sun and the moon, and the sun and the moon revolve around earth. We are in the middle, right now in the middle between the sun and the moon, there are gods that are controlling both that are, uh, have many different names, and their, their stories are recycled over generations and times, and now we're, we're reading old shit from, 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 you know, old shit, and then new shit, and then what you all need to do is go into meditation. I don't give a shit what fucking Christian bullshit preacher tells you to not go into meditation. No, it's a holy and a good thing. You need to sit in the quiet darkness, go into meditation, I hear the divine words of your soul speak, I don't know if you're there at my level, because I'm on a different spiritual level, I'm in a different spiritual um, way of thinking, I've have, I've have de demons coming after me almost every night, because I speak the truth, and they fucking hate it, and when I say truth, I'm not some, you know, ignorant Christian that says, oh yeah, the Holy Spirit's the only truth, the Bible's the only truth, no, absolutely not. The Bible is not the only truth. The Holy Spirit might be. I have nothing against that. But, um, you know, there's, there's so much more than just one, one Bible. See this shit? There's so much more than this. This is your bullshit King James Version Bible I have followed most of my life when it comes to the New Testament. And, and it does help when you're a beginner, when you're a child, when you're young to 
become moral to understand the good ways of Jesus preached by the church when they don't know nothing about Jesus or Yehoshua. <sighs> Y'all motherfuckers need to go back 10,000 years ago. We need, I mean, the gods are coming back. What, whatever real or is not real, I'm not sure. You know, the other ancient gods, which ones are real, which ones are not real. I know a couple of people that speaks not only telepathically to, to ancient gods, but um, I know any, I know someone in the flesh that happens to be a fallen angel that I was dating for a while. Not dating, but yeah. And um, he matches up with all the characteristics of uh, all these different gods that uh, match up to Satan. And... He is not in power yet at the moment because he's a dumb fuck. So I don't know how he's going to reign the world like he's supposed to because he's doing stupid shit on the streets. But I knew someone that I stopped contacting with that claimed to be Apollyon, um, uh, um, the destroyer of Cyrus, and he claimed his mark was 888. He had his uh, the mark. On his arm, he says, that is the mark. It is not 666. It's 888. Um, now, this person does have divine power. A uh, false power, you should say. He's of darkness. He's, um, you know, um, he's got his own thing going. I cut off contact with this person for a reason. Many, many reasons. But, um, um let's just say that um the antichrist isn't who you think he is either you humans are so fucked up in the head i can't even begin to <sighs> the antichrist the beast is not it's not just the idea of satan it's so much deeper more powerful i mean it's you're going into god when you talk about the beast you talk about satan you're going directly into god and who he is and all these other gods, and they're all linked and tied together, and I mean, I have a book on it, too. I mean, you have the god Mithra, you have so many different sun gods that all come down to being Jesus and Lucifer, and them being the same, and then you have all these Egyptian gods that ties into um, who Yehoshua is with the third eye, and it's just so much, it's just so much information flying everywhere that some... I noticed it's been literally hurting my brain and splitting my mind into two, confusing the dog shit out of me. And I've never gone through such heavy um, confusion and um, spiritual attacks in my entire life except for the past three years. But then again, I can't say that because ever since I became a Christian, I've had demons stalking me, following me, making sounds, showing themselves, tapping on the walls, tapping, tapping on the fridge, constantly like wanting my attention, um... And um, certain things aren't really making sense, you know. Um, certain individuals that are not really human come, you know, meeting them, seeing individuals that are not seen by others and amongst entities that people don't even know that are there that I notice. Um, of course, you know, what I do is a lot more deeper than that, but um, just to get the track off of me, because I'm not going to exalt myself. I'm going to keep myself humble. Because I know how ignorant this, these fucking humans are. And um, how ignorant um, religious, religious um, dumb fucks and sheeps are. That don't have any fucking clue who Satan is. When I've met him several times, telepathically, while I was awake, my soul went out of my body and went to hell a couple days ago. Satan um, came in the form of, actually, I better not reveal that. I'm going to keep that to myself. I don't even think humanity deserves to hear it at this point. But you should know who Jesus as Lucifer is, who is not Satan, and I will tell you about that. And so now, now I will get into um, Ezekiel chapter 27, a great a great seaport city. Now, this is about the Prince of Tyre, who everybody says is Lucifer. Um, Prince of Tyre, you know, it has nothing to do... Christians um, are so far away from the truth. 
um, all religions are. So, I mean, not all, but I mean, the three main ones are definitely. So, let's get into it. In verse 1, the word of the Lord came again to me, saying, Now, son of man, take up a lamentation for Tyre. Now, people don't read this. The word of the Lord came again to me, saying... The word of the Lord could be anything, like I said earlier. It could be um, an angel speaking for the Lord to a human. So it could be God speaking through an angel to the human. It could be through a book. could be through telepathic. could be through vision or dream. It doesn't say how this person, um, how the word of the Lord came to him. But it says now you have to realize that the word of the Lord came to me. That could mean anything when they say word of the Lord. It could be anything. But apparently it's his actual voice. Now, nobody's really heard the voice of God. I've heard it telepathically. I've heard Jesus Christ's voice telepathically, and it sounds like thunder, lightning, uh, the fucking, the ocean, um, all mixed together in this loud, deep, deep, um, scary voice that people would probably think it would be Satan is actually the voice of Jesus. He has a very dark, um, not dark, I should say, it just sounds different, it sounds divine, it doesn't sound human, it doesn't sound evil, it doesn't really sound scary, it just sounds like a deep voice. And I've had him telepathically speak to me before. So, I mean, when the Bible's written, they're talking about God directly speaking to people. And they say, um, now the word of the Lord came, came saying to me, chapter, verse 2, now, now son of man, take up a lamentation for Tyre, Lamentation. Okay, that word should be looked up. For the prince of Tyre. And say to Tyre... I don't know if it's Tyre or Tyre. I don't know how to pronounce it. You who are situated at the entrance of the sea. Merchant. So he's situated at the entrance of the sea. Now in the book of Revelation, it talks about um, the, the, the serpent and the beast that comes out of the sea. That comes out of the ocean. And there are many different beasts mentioned in the Bible. There's a total of six. And now we don't know if it literally means physical beasts because it had because they make them as scientific um, um, animals because they have um, you know the way they put them with the different you know animal parts together and the way they make the beasts look like and all that stuff. And now I'm going to go. Okay, so when it talks about the beast in chapter 13, Revelation, then I stood on the sand of the sea and I saw a beast rising up out of the sea, having seven heads and ten horns, and on his horn ten crowns, and on his head a blasphemous name. Now the beast which I saw was like a leopard. See, now they're changing the story. First they said it was a seven-headed dragon, like they've said before. Now they're saying this is a seven-headed leopard. So what are Christians preaching? The Christians are preaching bullshit in the church. They're not even reading the word of God. Or what they say is the word of God, which is bullshit word of man. They're not even fucking reading this. Trying to tell them, trying to say that they're saved and that they believe in Jesus and all this shit. It's like they're not even reading their fucking Bible. They're <laughs> And when they read the Bible... Um, every preacher, even the good ones, even the ones that are close to the Lord, that try to be holy, even the ones that don't take or ask for money, that are truly genuine, are still deceived. I mean, goodness gracious, it's, oh my gosh, you guys are just, it's not a seven-headed dragon. It says it's a seven-headed leopard in verse 2. Now the beast which I saw was a leopard. His feet were like the feet of a bee, a bear. His feet were like the feet of a bear and his mouth like the mouth of a lion. Oh, then the dragon gave him power. So, there it is. There is another beast that is a seven-headed dragon. Seven-headed dragon. But a lot of people, um, because obviously dragons aren't real. They don't they don't freaking exist to the dumb fuck Christians out there. Dragons don't exist. They possibly have physically before as unicorns probably physically existed a long, long time ago, which was probably millions of years ago or hundreds of thousands of years ago. So I don't know what you're all tripping about the dragon being the beast or Satan, which is actually a very beautiful, incredible thing because I've seen it among among many other things. Um, 
Really? I mean, you're going to fight... No, think about it. A dragon is a physical reptile being. Satan, when I saw him, is a physical reptile being. He looks like what you would say a reptilian. One of those reptilian uh, creatures that you would see in those uh, exposing Illuminati YouTube videos of clones being created and all this crazy shit. And then you see these um, videos of... um, you know, um, damn, I forgot what I was gonna say, but anyways, there's, um, there's videos like this, that the, um, the seven stars represent the seven churches of Asia, that's the seven stars I saw floating around, um, Jesus Christ when I was 14, and, um, seven, 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 six, 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 is the sun and the moon. They revolve around each other. It both keep, We can't have too much sun and it will kill us. Um, Jesus claims to be the sun, the bright and morning star. You know, The sun keeps us alive in the sky. There is a direct link um, for the lake of fire. Um, directly linking to Jesus. Directly link, linking to Lucifer. Directly link, linking to Satan. Directly linking to God. Um, the lake of fire, which is the sun in our sky. 10,000 degrees um, Fahrenheit or so, proven by science, is an actual gas lake of fire, and it's literal, and it's the only lake of fire that would be big enough to fit the whole entire earth inside. That's why they say the gate to heaven is narrow, but the gate to hell is wide, because it's right above our fucking heads in the sky. And religion revolves all around hell, the lake of fire, the sun in our sky. Um, religions revolving around the moon that gives us power. The moon is a holy and beautiful thing. It gives humans power. It gives people, um, not gives power, but I don't know if it exactly what it does, but I just have this feeling that the moon is a holy and beautiful thing. Um, it can be worked. It's sacred. And, um, you know, going back to the beasts and all that. And I saw one of his heads as if it had been mortally wounded, and his deadly wound was healed, and all the world marveled and followed the beast, so they worshipped the dra- dra- dragon. You know, it's pretty fucking cool to have a dragon, but not when there's going to be a dragon blowing out fire on you, scorching your, uh, your, your human body parts into, um, you know, be eaten by flesh, and, um... The disturbing thing is that when the dragon and the beasts just destroy those who don't worship them and all the other beasts that destroy humans, the beasts could represent men of power in the government. It could represent um, political status. It could represent um, nation against nation, uh, tribe against tribe. It could, it could represent every war that is going on. The beast may not be a real physical animal. It may not really be Satan could be in the form of uh, different things happening and taking place, um, you know, and, um, (sighs) you know, you have all this crap, you know, um, the Jews, they think their religion's perfect, the, the right way to go, the Muslims, they think theirs is the right way to go, the Christians, they think theirs is the right way to go, let me just tell you all something, they're all the wrong ways to go. The right way to go is probably New Age mysticism. It's probably um, tapping into that which the Bible tells you not to tap into. I get a a, a very um, strong sense and feeling that those things are actually good and holy, that we should be getting into those sins. And when I mean by sins, um, now the term or the word sin probably came from... um, the mind of Jesus, possibly from from God, as he was what you would say would be like a witch, a man who can walk on water. They say is God in the flesh. No, let me tell you something. We're we're definitely you have no idea who I am in the flesh. If y'all knew, y'all would be coming after me, trying to kill me. I've already got um, entities trying to kill me. The government spraying chemtrails over my head. I've seen six chemtrails in the sky today. I haven't even started my life yet, and the whole world's already out to, to, to kill each other, and to, 
goodness gracious. So the word sin, it, I didn't write down the whole meaning, but I wrote down the first meaning, an immoral act considered to be a transgression against divine law. Now, getting the feeling about divine law, I, I think it's absolute bullshit that if someone, um, Let's say, let's say you fall in love with someone or you think that you're falling in love with someone and you can't tell a difference. And let's say it's between a crush. It's either a crush, lust, or love. Now, there's a major difference between lust and love, and they're two totally different powers. There's pure love, and then you have false love, which is bullshit going on in your, in your mind and you really don't know what love is. For those, you know, younger people that, that really have no clue. Jesus knew what love was. He taught what love was. You forgive people, you love people, you help people, you help the poor and the freaking homeless, you help the needy. And when I see a homeless person, it breaks my heart to the point to where my soul feels this darkness and this crying agony to where I just want to help every single person. And I just want to lift their spirit on high and just be like the, the, the helper. I'm just going to put it like that. And, um... <sighs> so it means to transgress against the divine law of God. Okay, first of all, there's nothing nothing really perfect or completely divine about the, the, the God of Israel. He's a, a, a God of murder, of judgment, of evil, of, of, um, of sin, of corruption, of murder. When Jesus said, your father, the devil, oh, he's probably, I hope what he, he's probably talking about the God of Israel because Jesus is nothing at all like the God of Israel. There's too many contradictions in the Bible about that. They don't match. They don't go together. They don't mesh. Somehow they get along and they still talk to each other and work with each other. And Jesus is nothing at all to this, to this evil, sick son of a bitch, um, God in the Bible. Who the fuck are you worshiping? I mean, really, he murders children, animals, human sacrifices, and I'm not talking about Molech, I'm not talking about Baal, oh, by the way, Baal is, um, there, there's a book on who Baal is, and the, how it's actually Satan, who's actually somehow God, who's actually the, the ruler of this earth, who's actually, um, Jehovah, who's actually Allah, they're all tied into one, I've got a book of over 800 pages about that called Hallowed Be Thy Name. It is a 100% proof, uh, definitive, of, of 30 years of research someone did to prove that Lucifer is indeed God, is indeed Satan, that there is no difference, really. When you're looking at different gods and you're trying to compare Satan with God, there's really no difference, except for this... Th the stories all go together. They all make it the same. The, you got the ancient stories with the newer stories. I mean, you guys are just separating God's uh, personalities. You're separating his characteristics. You're separating who he, who he is um, into different characters. And then now we have this idea that the Illuminati is trying to make a one-world religion. That they're trying to make them all the same. And all of this... Um, <sighs> so much information I don't even know what to believe in anymore other than the only thing I can really go by is what I'm shown telepathically in my visions and dreams at this point because there is so much deception that people can't even pierce they can't even see through it they're being deceived by their own their own false god I mean the Jehovah Yahweh Yahuwah whatever the freak you want to call him he's not the most divine he is satan he he's controlling this whole world he has control over souls of humanity you don't worship him he sends you to hell he watches you burn in fucking hell as you're tortured in agony and suffering and pain while jesus christ and the lamb watches you burn and then eats your flesh with the angels afterward that is also mentioned in the bible in the book of revelation hold on i have to look for it so i'm going to pause it at this moment until i can find it Revelation chapter 19, and I fell at his feet to worship him, but he said to me, see that you do not do that. Oh, I am your fellow servant. Jesus never said to worship him, apparently. Y'all are stupid motherfuckers. He never said worship me. He never said bow down to me. He he just wanted you to follow his example and, and lead and lead life, but everybody's stuck in their material world, and this material world's going to swallow us up and, and kill us all. Because Satan's going to come and, and kill everybody. Because y'all are stuck on material possessions. And all of us are. Oh, jeez. Um, so, um. 
basically, see that you do not do that. I am your fellow servant and of your brethren who have the testimony of Jesus. Okay. Worship God. That's what it says. For the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. And you guys worship Jesus Christ, who is a man, a human being, and who is Lucifer, who is d desecrated, you know, killed, um, hated by the entire world. People still hate Lucifer to this day. They hate Jesus Christ just as much. Y'all worship him, but yet you hate him at the same time, separating him in, into two different, three different, four different beings. You're separating him into all these different beings. <sighs> I need a, I need a long, I, I don't know, I try to look for a break, but I can never find a break out of this. I'm constantly being sucked into this um, human bullshit of an experience of people getting confused and, and not knowing the truth from, from deception and, and me trying to find out what the truth from deception is and me being confused and then, and then being shown this and that and this and that and this and that. Being pulled from all spiritual directions, Satan trying to work with me, Jesus trying to work with me, God trying to work with me, freaking, um... I've got the darkness and the light trying to trying to pull me back and forth in different ways that you cannot even imagine. Things that are happening in the spiritual that I can see, that I go through, that I witness, that I that I experience in my divine power of my divine uh, soul being and what it does and stuff like that. That is the answer. That is the truth. You need to tap into yourself of who you are as an individual. Look into yourself. Know that you are gods. Ye are gods. The serpent was the helper at the tree of the Garden of Eden. He was the helper. Y'all call him Satan. He was never Satan in the Bible. It was just a serpent. We don't know exactly who the serpent was in the Bible. Christians falsely made up some bullshit calling the serpent Satan or Lucifer. When the Bible never said that, they call, um, you know, the Prince of Tyre Lucifer. That's not what the Bible says. It's what the Christian false doctrines teach you. And the Prince of Tyre is the one who fell from heaven. Um, going back to that. And going right back to that. Yep. I'm just going to skip all that. I'm going to go down to chapter 20, 27. In verse... One, the word of the Lord came again to me, saying, Now, son of man, take up lamentation for Tyre, and say to Tyre, You who have situated at the entrance of the sea, merchant of the peoples of many coastlands. So he was a merchant. You know, people know that merchants aren't the best. O Tyre, you have said, I am perfect in beauty. Your borders are in the midst of the seas. Your builders have perfected your beauty. They made all your planks of fir trees from sinner which is a uh, type of fir tree from Sinur. I guess it's a different type of tree. They took a cedar from Lebanon to make you a mast of oaks from Bashan. They make your oars. So these beautiful different trees to make his oars. Oaks. The company of Ashurites have inlaid your planks with ivory from the coasts of Cyprus. So he's building something. Verse 7 Fine embroidered linen from Egypt was what you spread for your sale. Linen from Egypt. Yehoshua, Jesus, Lucifer, they're all directly tied into, into Egypt. All the, all, every single god in this world is directly tied to Egypt. To the third eye that was upon Yehoshua's hat in my vision. To the, um, to the third eye on the dollar bill. To the, in God we trust. It all goes into the beast system. It all goes into worship of Satan who is really God. And it's so much deception that y'all, everybody's souls are in danger, pretty much. <sighs> and so, going back to this, you know, fine embroidered linen from Egypt was what you spread for your sale. So this, you know, the Prince of Tyre, which everybody says is Lucifer that fell from heaven. Christians don't even know what they're saying when they say Lucifer fell from heaven and turned into Satan. It has nothing, it doesn't even talk about that in the Bible. Lucifer never turned into Satan. The Bible doesn't even say that. It, so much false Christian made up stuff in the head. It doesn't even go, it does, doesn't even go with the the uh, partial truth of this bullshit Bible anyways. You, you guys don't even know what Christian is. You guys have no fucking clue. But anyway, um, blue and purple from the coasts of Elisha was what covered you. So he's wearing blue and purple. And this is the Prince of Tyre, who has different, you know, different trees and, and, and different kinds of trees to make his sail, his boat, or whatever. And then it goes down to 
Chapter 8, Inhabitants of, of Sidon and Arvad were your oarsmen, your wise men, O Tyre, were in you. They became your pilots. Elders of Jebal and its wise men were in you to caulk your cerns, all the ships of the sea, and their oarsmen were in the market, your merchandise. Those from Persia, Lydia, Libya were in your army of the men of war. Wow, I didn't know that. They hung shield and helmet in you. They gave splendor to you. Men of Arvad with your army were on your walls around. The men of Gamad were in your towers. They hung their shields on your walls all around. They made your beauty perfect. Okay, verse 12. Tarshish was your merchant because of your many luxury goods. They gave you silver, iron, tin, and lead for your goods. Javan, Tubal, and Meshesh were your traders. They bartered human lives and vessels of bronze for your merchandise. Uh-oh. So there's where the issue starts. Those from the house of Togo Togurma traded for your wares and ho with horses, steeds, and mules. Okay, I'm just going to skip all this. I'm going to go down to, um, because there's too much to read, and I don't know if this is even going to save. I hope it does. I'm going to skip all this extra and just get to the point. Okay. <laughs>